I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find intercepts of quadratic function uh, when it is given in standard form. The question is find x intercepts and y intercepts of y equals to 2x square minus 4x minus 1. So let's begin by finding y intercept. Right. So y intercept is when x is equals to 0. So basically we have to substitute x as 0 in this equation. So we have y equals to 2 times that value has to be 0. That is what we have, right? So this value has to be 0 to get the y-intercept. So just write 0 for x. Is that okay? And then calculate. So what do you get here? You get 0 minus 0, I mean 0 minus 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. And therefore, the y-intercept is, let me write in short form, as 0 minus 1 since we had substituted x equals to 0 correct so that is a way to find y intercept now in when the equation is given in standard form x intercept could be very tricky now what is x intercept let's try to understand that first x intercept is a point where the graph crosses x axis at that point y is equal to 0 so we have to substitute 0 for y so let's do that. So we get the equation as 0 equals 2. Let's rewrite the whole equation. 0 for y, 0 equals to 2x square minus 4x minus 1. Now we need to solve this equation, correct? Now this standard equation could be solved in different ways. One method is to use quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divide by 2a. You could do that. That will give you the solution, right? The other method is complete the squares and then find it, right? You could also factor. There's one more method which is called factoring. So you could factor and then solve. So there are different ways that this could be done. If you try factoring here, 2 times minus 1 is 2, uh, minus 2. And uh, to get minus 2 as product, 2 and 1 is the only combination, we cannot get minus 4. So this cannot be factored. So that option is not there. We have either these two options. We could do that. Now that is direct application of formula, right? And this one is completing the squares. So uh, what should I do? Let's do both, right? Okay. So let's do completing the squares first. So we'll write this as 0 equals to, to complete the squares, I'll take 2 outside factor it out. So we have x squared minus. Divide by 2 gives us 2x, right? And then we'll keep this one separate. Now the next step is take half of this number and square it. So we have half of 2 is 1. So we'll do 1 square minus 1 square. So add and subtract that 1 square. Now these three terms form a perfect square. So we could write this as x minus 1 whole square. If you expand this, you get x square minus 2x plus 1. Take the sign from here, number from there, okay? And this is minus 1. 1 square is 1, minus 1. So what we get here is 2 times x minus 1 whole square minus 2 minus 1 or 2 times x minus 1 whole square minus 3. Remember, all this is equal to 0, right? All this is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation in vertex form. Can you solve it? Take 3 to this side. So we get 3 equals to 2 times x minus 1 whole square. So divide by 2. So we get 3 over 2 equals to x minus 1 whole square. Now you square root it. So whenever you square root, you do plus and minus. Square root of 3 by 2 equals to x minus 1. What is x? Bring 1 this side. So 1 plus minus square root of 3 by 2 is equals to x. So what you get here is you get these two as your x intercepts. Do you see that? So that is completing the squares. So what we did just now was completing the squares method. Now let us use the formula, right? So in the formula, this number is a, this number is b, this number is c. To find x, let's substitute the values minus p, so minus of minus 4, minus of minus 4, plus minus, square root of minus 4 square, right? So this is b square, minus 4 is c, minus 4 times a is 2, 
c is minus 1, right? Square root divided by 2 over a, which is 2, right? So that is what we do. So remember here, we are given a equals to 2, b equals to minus 4, and c equals to minus 1. Substitute this value, use this formula, correct? And get the answer. So here what we have is minus minus plus plus minus square root of 16 minus and minus becomes plus 8 square root divided by 4 right so that is 4 plus minus now 8 plus 16 is 24 right so we get 24 over over 4 now 24 could be written as 4 times 6 right 4 times 6 okay so we could write this as 4 plus minus square root of this is like uh, 4 times 6 let me write 4 times 6 first over 4 so I'm just adding few steps uh, which could be written as 4 plus minus 4 could be taken out 2 square root 6 is that okay over 4 now 4 could cancel so that 4 divided by 4 is 1 right plus or minus uh, 2 and 4 so 2 divided by 4 square root of 6 is that okay so that is how you could actually write it. Now that gives you uh, 1 plus minus, that is half of square root of 6. Do you see that? Half of square root of 6. Now this could be written as 1 plus minus. You take 2 inside, so it becomes square root of 6 over 4. And that is 1 plus minus square root of 3 out of 2. Well, you could use calculator. Let's use the calculator. So we'll use the calculator at any of these stages to see what the answer is. So we have 4. So instead of plus and minus, let me just write plus, okay? Then we'll do the other one also. Is it okay? So 4 plus, within square root, we have 16 plus 8, right? So let me put brackets, 16 uh, plus 8, bracket close, and let's take all of it. What is this equal to? Well, something like this divide this by 4 so what do you get you get 2 plus square root 6 over 2 correct so that is good enough right 2 to cancel like this that could be your answer right so you could write this also as we just saw uh, so here divide by 4 so you got 2 plus square root 6 over 2 that is another way of writing the same answer but I wanted to match it with this one which could be done right so it could be this uh, and here just multiply divide by 2 to get this answer right so you could also do from here to this place anyway so what do you get to know here that to find x intercept for a quadratic function you could use either of these methods and uh, you know it takes time sometimes to solve such questions but that is how it can be done i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best